if you started your swing here, look, he's in range. Why, why are you dashing here? Don't don't waste your dash. It's it's not necessary. Quick word before the video starts. I'm gonna need you guys to go stash that subscribe button and like the video because as of right now, only 16.7 people are subscribed. Don't miss out. Also, I'm live every day on Twitch, so come say hi or say something like banana to confuse all the Twitch only viewers. Could be our secret. Anyway, let's get into the video. I don't want to watch stomps. I don't care. Okay, I want to see your games so i can help you improve i i mean i know you want to show off everyone does right but like show off when you're gm not when you're like plat plat genji one trick never played anything else okay sure let's see skill of bones nice i was i was about to ask i mean i was about to say yeah i i, I think starting like when you're playing king's row starting on this statue is really good because you can kind of like scout what they have and if you like move around like i mean you might you risk dying to widow but it's kind of fucking hard to hit you right and you can tell your team, like you can see what they're playing, and you can just poke for some ult charge, of course. Now, one thing that I don't like, and what you shouldn't do, is you should you shouldn't reveal your position. Like I, it's it's a small detail, but it kind of matters. Like what you should do is you should like hide either here or here, and then now, when it's like like four seconds left. This is plat, yeah. When there's when there's like four four seconds left, you just climb now on the statue. Now it's like two seconds left, and you're you're here. Instead of just sitting and like revealing your intention to your your enemy like right from the beginning, it's not good. It's a small thingy, but yeah, it, it it'll maybe not get you killed. I mean, it will probably help you get killed less here. Yeah? Okay, two of your people, two of your teammates are just instantly dead. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a tragedy. Not really much I could have done there. Let's see, this guy's plat, apparently. This guy's plat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You hear the Widow. You just you just heard her grapple. Let's see the state of your team. You have, your tank is dead. Their Lucio is dead. They have a Ramatra. Okay, they have a Ramatra and a Sim. Right. So... Here, Objective lost. you really shouldn't be scared. You you heard the widow grapple. Just come up top and contest her. It's like if nothing, at best case, you get some old charge. Worst case, you just um, like your team is here. Yana can heal you. You know she can play this corner. She's fine. Uh, worst case, of course you die, but it's not likely. But I feel like worst case you you get some old charge. You know that's worst case. Best case you get a kill. There's no, there's no reason to be backing up here. Okay, well, alright, well, th that happened. What the fuck is Mer- Huh? Oh, no, 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 bro. No, 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 get out, get out, get out. That's very greedy. Oh, I if you dash there, I swear to God. Okay, playing into Sim is kind of hard. Your audio's fucked. Okay, that's fair enough, bro. Okay, let's see. Um... What the fuck is your dude? This is what I hate seeing, but like, why the fuck is Diva playing here? Why is she not like just here contesting the cart? Like, I swear to God, tank players are playing like they have 100 health. I swear to God, and this this Mercy is a like, healing beam, beaming beaming him when he's full health. Okay. All right, let me let me see. Yeah, your Diva is I don't know what the fuck your Diva is doing, but. That is just making me a bit angry. Okay. Oh. Uh. What? The, what the fuck is going on? Okay, man. Well, one immediate thing I can notice is okay. I see. You. Your sense is really low, isn't it? It kind of looks low, or like you, you don't look comfortable with it. At least, it's not like the other guy. The other guy looked very comfortable with his sense. Oh, well, didn't the time when he missed like three shots. Alright, uh, I don't like the way you're going in here. So, as I said, cooldown management is really important. So this is this will get you killed a lot of the times. You can't just... You can't just deflect like this. And then go in. This is suicide. This is literally so You just like, you wasted your look, look. Look at look. Okay, if this wasn't plat, <laughs> look at the situation. You have no cooldowns, and you're stranded 
in fucking five people. This is actually suicidal. You should 100% die here. <laughs> but the enemy team is just not looking at you. I mean, to be fair, their Sombra is just kind of being AFK here. If they had like something like a Kree or some shit, this is not good. And you also already basically have Blade, right? So there's, there's literally no reason to dash like this unless you're going in. Okay, you have Blade here. Oh wait. Yeah, you, you have Blade. So th this is this is just like this is just a waste in my opinion. Like you should not. At least like okay, if you're going to do this, this is okay to do, but you have to make sure you have deflect to get out. So what you should have done is you should have dashed in, maybe thrown a right click and then like deflect it out. You only don't die here because the Ramatra is like I don't even know what like I don't know why he's not looking at you. You're a Genji that popped both his cooldowns. If I'm this Ramatra, I'm fucking I'm pummeling the fuck out of you. You're just dead as sh you're dead as shit here. Look at this. Like, I've just seen you use- Oh shit, what the fuck happened? I've just seen you use dash. Like, he's just not looking at you at all. Like, you're just literally a free kill on his right, but he's just- He chooses- He chooses to punch the diva for some reason. Like, this is really bad. Don't- Don't blow your cooldowns. Before going in. Don't blow your deflect before going in. Try to save it. The only exception is if you're, uh, peeking a Widow. If you're- If you're going for a Widow, then it's okay to like deflect to gain range, right? You're, you're deflecting and walking forward. So you can get into range to dash because typically Widow is really far away, right? And even if she's not, you still want to like, you still want to deflect so you're safe so you don't get like insta headshotted, right? That's why you deflect when you go into a Widow. <clears throat> Let's see this. Yeah, he's hiding here with Blade. They, they wasted beat just now. So this is actually good. You're waiting this out. Uh, the only thing you have to be worried about is uh the sim turrets that could be very disastrous for blade here you want to ideally combo with your ana like uh, i hope you're pressing tab here and looking at your ana you should be calling you should be calling uh for nano here for sure if, if this this should be this should be super easy like this if your ana just nano oh she's she's looking at you bro she oh nice she got it Oh, oh no. Oh, oh fuck, so close. All right, that's like, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a roller coaster. So again, let me see. Same as the other guy, okay? You have a free dash, you're nanoed. It's so much fucking damage, right? Instead of, you guys know that blade, blade, Resets your dash, right? So you should a hundred percent here dash either the somber or this or the symmetric, probably the somber or probably the symmetric because she's like really low HP. Like I'm pretty sure dash and melee kills her here. Yeah, it does. It does because like three bars is seventy five health, which is one dash, and then melee she's a bit over thirty. I think how much is a nano melee? How much damage does it do? Is it is it forty five? 45? Yeah, she's dead as shit. She's dead as shit here. Yeah. So, like, you, you see that she's low. You've damaged her recently. You should just, like... You should definitely be going for the Symmetra here with dash melee. I want to see a lot more people doing that. Your, your, guys, your dash is literally free. Okay? It's free. I see so many people making this mistake. You're, you're not getting enough value out of, like, blading. Like, it's a dash reset for free. That's insanely good. Look, let's, let's try to put that Symmetra around the same HP. She, she was like, no, okay, she was like, she was like that HP, right? You can just literally dash melee. Like, I mean, honestly, if I was you, I'm, I'm probably not even going to blade there because she's so low and I can probably get resets and snowball, but like, it's, it's literally free. To do this, okay? Look, look, look when you're nanoed. It's just so much fucking free damage. Look at this. I don't even need to. Okay, I'm not even gonna hit my shurikens. Just look at this. Okay, I'm. Okay. <laughs> One second. Okay. Just. Fuck! How do I miss a dash? Alright, I'm really tired. Listen. I'm, I'm really tired. Shut up. So, you, you dash melee. Look how much damage. I can just dash. Okay. I can almost kill them, which is dash. If I hit one shuriken. 
if I'm nanoed, and I hit like one shuriken, and I pull out blade, then one dash kills him. I don't even need to swing. So you guys should definitely do that. 100%. Blading gives you a free dash reset. So if you get nanoed, go in, pop your fucking right click melee, and then fucking go in with blade. You get two dashes for free. Very lovely. Extremely lovely. All right, let's see. Now enter. Amazing showcase. I literally haven't slept for nearly 24 hours. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Okay, and, and uh, be besides that, like, okay, you wasted here. And this is just a mechanical misplay. Like, this, I mean, honestly, it's a sh fucking terrible idea to go for a Sombra. Do not, do not go for Sombras with Nano Blade. There's, like, a couple of heroes in the game. I mean, you learn this through playtime. There's a couple of heroes in the game that you really just don't want to go for with Nano Blade or, yeah, with Genji in general. You really, really, really do not want to go for Sombra because she can just press trans, okay? And that's exactly what she does. So actually, even you do miss, I think, but either case, it's it's a Sombra. You shouldn't be doing this in the first place. You should just go for the Symmetra. Symmetra is a free reset. What can Symmetra do? Like she can just try to TP away, but this is plat, so she's not doing that. Issue. And even then, it's kind of slow. Yeah. Okay, anyway, this was an awful blade. I like I respect this. I, I what you do there, I respect it. You you gotta like fail a couple of times like that to get it right. I respect it. Even though you you fucked up. Wait, that guy's translocating his what the fuck is she doing? Does she get that off? That's just gross. Yeah, I like like a target focus here. Definitely look for mercy here, you know. For much is free old charge here. Yep. Nice, nice. I failed so many Valk Mercies. I mean yeah, it's it's just hard to kill him. Especially with the new movement. So, uh, okay, I mean, I don't mind that. Some free old treasure. Ooh, that's very scary. That's very scary. That is very suicidal and scary. Ooh, okay. So, like, um, what was it? Was it here? Oh, how much did I just skip? Fuck me. Yeah, it was here, right? Like you're just like hard picking. So your deflect is your deflect is down here. <laughs> and your dash. I think you're kinda of wasting your abilities a little bit. But now you don't have deflect. And you're just going in and into like an ash like this. This is kinda of not great. If you're gonna do that, at least play closer to the corner. So that way if she does shoot you, you're not in the open and just fucked. You know, like if you're on this corner and she headshots you, well you can just like kinda of go back behind the corner. And you're safe for a little bit. And hopefully she doesn't, you know, walk up before your healers heal you, you know? That's what you should do. But, like, you, you go super wide. Yeah, it, it's really bad. Like, come on. Look, this is, this is just shit. And you're just in the open. So, like, if this guy was an ass and hit this follow-up shot on you, you're just dead. Like, like, you're one health. You're nowhere near cover. Three people are looking at you. This Romatra is not killing you for some reason here. Which you really should be. Oh, he doesn't hit the. Do you deflect? No, oh, he just misses. Why is this shit? Yeah, you should have been insanely dead here. Alright, that guy just. That guy gets fucked. You saw that Ash at one health. I would have just dashed her and attempted to finish her off. You know their healers are dead. Okay. That guy's one. That guy's one and isolated. 100% go for him. Yep. You, do. you recognize that? That guy's one. You see that he's one. Wait. Does he actually. How can I know if he sees the health bars? Because every. Yeah, Yoshi, he actually doesn't know, I think. Uh, can I, like, show so it's, like, his POV? Like, I, I don't want to see the health bars. He does? No, but it's showing the people in the back as well. Okay, either case, this is good. I mean, they, they just stagger really hard. Yeah, you should definitely go. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, push them. Like, come on. I wish a, a lot more people had the game sense to fucking realize. Like, you've just slaughtered, like, half their fucking team. Just go in and finish the rest of them. Like, what the fuck are these, like... What is this Zen doing here with his whole team dead? And, like, a diva and Genji about to jump his ass. I like that you go in. Oh, um... 
is good. Sad that your team doesn't follow, so they get to live. But you know what? You get free old charge, so it's fine. What if he dies? I mean, worst case, if you die here, it's a whole lot better than dying here because the payload is here. So like, if you die like this, it's like it kind of sucks, but it's not like a super high impact death. Like, it's probably not going to lead you the game unless your team staggers and ends. But that's not your fault, you know. Either case, yeah, that was, that was an okay push there on them. I like that. I wish more people realized. Okay, so we have Blade here. What are we doing? We have Nano in 80. Yeah, we definitely get the fuck out of there. Nice, he gets slept. Your team is just not leaving. Yeah, I could see why Romantra is OP in low ranks. They just don't try to kite it at all. You need to live here. Like, you know your win condition here is Blade. You just need to live. Like, literally, the way to win this fight here is you want to live. Like, you know you have Blade, and you can press Tab, and you see your Ana's 97. She just needs to walk up. Like, And the payload has a lot of time. Like, this is plenty of time. This is, like, 10 seconds. Your Ana can walk back in that time, you know? And she can be, like, you know, in range from Nano, like, here, if you're playing there. So you just want to live. It's, it's important to recognize your win condition. Is what I'm saying. Your Anna was your duo? Okay, that's good. That's good. Anna's a good uh, duo target. Okay, let's see. Where's your. Oh, fuck, I'll tell. Where's your Anna? Your Anna's right there. I mean, you guys should be going in like ASAP before the Zen gets trans. Let's see. Let's see if this works out. I'm assuming she, he's gonna Nana you. Oh, this. Mm. Okay. Oh, you didn't need to. That was, that was a waste of a dash. That was bad. That was not great. So you get a nice kill on Kiriko here. And there's no reason. Like, if you started your swing here, look. He's in range. Why, why are you dashing here? Don't don't waste your dash. It's it's not necessary. You know, he's, he's right here. Just swing again. There's no reason to dash here, you know? <coughs> yeah, that, that dash was not great. And you actually don't end up getting the kill because of that. Actually, you do, but like... If... It's also... Why... Like, you actually would've won this fight. If you just... Anchored point, you could've killed that Zen. Let's look at it. So you get a nice kill on Kiriko. Yeah, you would've just... Like, you would've just killed that Zen. This guy got... Your, your duo actually sleeps this dude. Yeah, you guys are winning this fight 100%. That's actually on you. That is 100% your fault. That you guys lose this fight because of that one misplay on dash. You could have done better. For sure here. A hundred percent. But these things come with practice. Wait, how many hours do you have on the hero? How many hours on Genji? Yeah, he loses this game. Let's see here. It's just getting old. Ooh, 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 bro, 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 you would clap your cheeks. Like, <laughs> this is really suicidal. Like, I mean, this could, like, this is a bad play, even when you have deflect. Uh, even even this is so late. Like, look off, look, look how much distance you need to cover to get back. L look at look at the state. Your diva is fucking here. Look at you. Do you see where you are? Do you realize what situation you find yourself in? <laughs> like, do you, do you understand how bad this is? This is, you're just one v fiving. You're actually no, you're one v nining right here. <laughs> he forced the ult. Okay, he did force the ult. That's true. But did he mean to force the ult? Do you think? Do you think he he consciously made the decision to go in and force trance? I was tilted because okay, yeah. To be fair, the diva is just like I I swear he's like playing like he has a hundred health. 
I don't know what the fuck that guy's doing. Um, yeah, th this is, but still, still, like you can't control how shit your teammates are, but you can control how shit you are, and you're making a lot of really big mistakes here. Like this could even work, I guess. Like if you if you landed your shots a bit better, like you could have killed his end. You, you just greed for him. That's why you walk forward. But like you you could have salvaged this if you went in on the Zen and right now immediately instead of like I, I see you're fucking going deeper into your team you need to be pressing your S key immediately like back like right now hold S if you hold S there's kind of still hope you can kind of make it out like your healers are here you're gonna get out but like you actually deflect and you go back in like anything like this is okay like that actually would have been huge if you just if you literally like right here. If you if you press deflect like here, press deflect and you start walking backwards, this is so huge. You just force trans for free. They literally get zero value out of that trans. I mean, you don't have anything right now available that could like pressure him, right? You, you don't have. I mean, I guess you have bomb, but like Zen's aren't really gonna trans bomb. Right? You don't have blade. You're not a blade. But still, this is huge because you you just get one ult for free, right? But instead. You kind of run it down, you 1v9, your diva does that, somehow gets fucking value. Somehow equalizes this fight. Alright, oh, I, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That was a really, really bad play. Don't dash in like that, don't dash into 5 people. Or if you do, make sure you... Like, make sure... Like right here, I, I would maybe even dash this Hanzo. But I wouldn't go too deep. I would like dash like maybe to where the sim is. Because in my mind, like I'm doing this subconsciously, but I kinda I kinda know how like if I if I let's say deflect here and I start walking backwards, I know that it's about like I'm protected from like here till about like here. And that's enough to like get me to the corner where it's safe. So if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna dash people, uh try to like Try to think of where the cover is, right? When you dash in, try to think where is the closest piece of cover that you could go to. Let's see what you end up doing here. Oh, you dash out. Like, to be fair, actually, yeah, they, I, I didn't, I didn't see that. They actually carry cold, so it's really bad to like dash in. If you dashed in, you would have just died. So when when they carry cold, just immediately just run away. Okay, Romantra is zero Romantra things. You kited, that's decent. You heard that turret go up there, did you not? Where the fuck is he putting his turret? What the f What? Okay. What is he cooking? Okay, I like that. I like that. Oh, so close. Nice. Get the kill. Shoot the lamp. Why do you- Why do you dash like that? That is a complete waste of dash. Yeah, you're wasting your abilities way too much. You get- This is- You get zero value. Like, I mean, you're what? You're contesting payload, I guess. You're dashing in, not even on anyone with six shurikens. This is also something really bad. You don't want to dash into enemies when you have like basically no ammo left. Cause what are you going to do? Reload in their face? That's extremely threatening, right? <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. Okay, I mean, they're not looking at you for some reason. So this somehow works, but this is not a good play again. It just works cause it's like flat. Yeah, they didn't, even, they didn't even know you exist. Oh, okay. I, I mean, yeah, you're getting good value here. You're popping off. You're killing them. Uh, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think the blade was necessary, but I mean, yeah, it, the fight could be lost. It's still not guaranteed, so it's, it's better safe than sorry. Definitely better, better safe than sorry. I would actually probably say you should have just dashed that Kiriko there. You, you just killed her whole team. She has no business being here. I mean, it's Kiriko, so like, you know, she, she can run away, but it's just free ult charge. Like, I see this. I know I just killed her team. I'm just dashing this bitch. But no, I'm in there. I'm in her face. I'm forcing her Suzu and I'm forcing her TP. Don't be scared. Kiri scares me. She, she is kind of scary. She does have the potential to just destroy you. Okay, let's see. Oh man, that is so scary. I just hear the May shooting. And you're- Oh no 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 no. What the fuck is that? Brother man. 
brother man, what are you doing with your dashes? What are you doing with your dashes, bro? You can't be dashing like that. You're dashing again. This is a zero battle. Like, okay, you're you're greeting for the kill. But you have to remember that you're playing Overwatch 2 and supports are disgustingly overtuned. Okay? So, like, you may think that this BAP has 50 health, right? Or 100 health. So you can, you can just right click, dash him, and if you hit a headshot, he dies, right? But actually, with, with, why you're. What you're wrong is that BAP actually has full health. This BAP actually has full health. Because he's a support in Overwatch 2. And, and that makes sense, you know? Uh, so you just end up basically dashing a full health BAP. I mean, to be fair, look, if you look at it, you do 100 damage. So you definitely would have killed him. It's just that, like, you need to be mindful of your enemy's cooldowns. Right? You need to be mindful of them. That wouldn't have been a bad play. Just, like, it's unnecessarily risky. And also, like, he, yeah, that's just BAP, and he does that. I mean, it confuses me, too. It, it doesn't make sense. He, but you have to remember that BAP, his, the way his, like, the, the way his, like, uh, shift works now is if he's under half health and he presses it, he heals to full. Basically. So you, you gotta be mindful of that. What happens here? Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're dead, yeah. Uh... Oh, oh, I see you want that dash. That's that's kind of unlucky. I mean, I don't even blame you. You should okay, like this is. I mean, you should have just been more mindful of your cooldowns here. But uh, look, look, the dash is like it's like it just comes off when you die. I, I'm not gonna blame you for that one. But you could have maybe like you could have maybe like stalled a little bit longer. Like you didn't need to like wide peek them like that when your dash is on on two seconds. You could you could have come out here on with like one second on dash. You know. So track your cooldowns a bit better as well. Vod review me next, Genji man. I'm going to bed after this. This is taking way too- Dude, I've, how long have I been on this? I've been on this for like 30 minutes already, dude. And it's- I, I'm 8 minutes into the VOD. I am just the king of fucking stalling, bro. I am the king of stalling. What, what is going on? Uh, you somehow don't lose in the last fight. That's interesting. Okay, you guys win this. Alright. Anyway, many mistakes here. You could have probably full held on, on first. Wait, are you in Widow? Oh, you just probably spawn. Yeah, it's probably spawn Widow, I'm assuming. Wait, no, you just play Widow. I can remember. No one can hide on my side. Uh. <laughs> are you getting hammered? <laughs> what the fuck? You just got fucking humiliated. Dude, honestly, I mean, I think your mechanics are very weak. You need you need some DMGRE time. You need to get your ass in DMGRE and get comfortable with blading. Because I mean, I don't know how many hours you have, but like you, it it doesn't look like a lot, you know. You should definitely like just your mechanics are very weak, hundred percent. If you had better mechanics, you would just carry games. And obviously, your decision making and everything is like not great, but yeah, you should you should like start with your mechanics. Just work on your mechanics. It's easy. You just get into a workshop and you just fucking spam that shit for hours. Spam it in queue. Spam it to warm up. Spam it all the fucking time. Just get your mechanics clean. He's he has sixty. Oh, you have sixty hours. Okay. No, honestly, I mean, that's not bad for 60 hours. 60 hours is fucking nothing. 60 hours is like two minutes. I see it as the same. It's it's nothing on the tier. 60 hours on Genji is two minutes in Sojourn, for comparison. So you have essentially two minutes on the tier, basically. Um, He wants you. He wants your ass. He is fucking coming. He is determined to pummel you. <laughs> He's just so shit though. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. A bit risky. I would never challenge heroes like Ash at a close at a long range like this. It's kind of bad. You want to like keep your engagement angles very very close. You gotta remove the turret, that's very important. What? But this guy's just... Ooh, okay, let's go dash, nice, nice. 
Got some more for us? Got some more for us? Bro, was cooking. Hey, that's that's nice. I I like that. Honestly, not bad. Not even bad. Let's watch that again. Yeah, that is that is clean. That is disgustingly clean, dude. Every Genji player just has this fucking beast in them when they're fucking popping off. See, this is what's hidden. This is what's hidden. Your goal is to make this happen more consistently, and you need just time and and practice for this. But you, you see, you can you can do it, man. This is why we play this hero, right? This is why we play this hero. That was fucking fun. You were raging hard there. Yeah, I mean, I see you shaking your hand. <laughs> These are the moments we live for as Genji players. Those kinds of plays. Let's see here. Yeah, this is good. See, that that's what you do there with Deflect is good. See, like, you're, you're backing out. And by the time Deflect ends, you're basically at, in a safe place. You just fall behind cover. That's how That's how you should be using it. You can play deep, but like you need to realize when it's time to run away and realize how far away you are from cover. Let's check. Yeah, they completely waste Bob. That is a dog shit Bob. I like this. This is a good, like especially in lower ranks, people just forget that this exists. So look, look at this. You have free access to whoever the fuck you want here. You can go on Anna, you can go on Ash, you can go on Bastion, you can go on Mercy. Literally whoever you want. No. See, I don't I don't know why you would go here. I mean I guess the Ramatra kinda knew you were up there, but like See there's there's literally no reason to attack from main when this window exists. You never go main unless their tank is like sitting here and is like trolling. Like if if their if their tank is out of position, you can come main to like pressure them. But otherwise, I feel like you should always, always just go through this window. Because people, people typically, their weakest direction is up. People never look up, ever, ever. They can look behind, they can look forward, but they never look up. So w whenever you have an angle above your enemy, you should try to go for it, you know? Their weakest, I don't know, skill. I don't know, I'm tired, man. Leave me alone. Oh, what did I do? Anyway, uh, yeah, that guy's just a free kill. That is a free kill. Uh, that is a free kill. Nice. Okay, we hit some shots. He's 1 HP. You just killed their Ash. Your tank. Okay, you have a baby diva. It's kind of risky to go in. But at the same time as Genji, I'm not, I'm not that scared of Bastion. Like, everything here is not that scary. Especially if Anna doesn't. Like, if you see Anna use Nade, now I'm just, like, dashing. Like, this is, uh, this would be a good time to, like, dash on Bastion. In my opinion, because he's way out of position. Like Genji, you should not be scared of Bastion. You can kill him so fucking fast, so insanely fast. So 100% like. Actually, actually, you are one health. To be fair, so it's good that you fall back here. Using his turret for him. Yeah. So you you just you just don't care about him. You disrespect him. Oh 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as blading a Bastion. This is bad, okay? You do not want to blade Bastion in turret form because he takes like zero fucking damage. I mean, this would have worked. This was fine. But again, just mechanical error. You tell you had Mercy Booster? Ah, oh, yeah, that's unlucky. Yeah, I see your, your friends trying to follow you. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's just not on, he's just not on fucking damage boost, is he? Oh, he just, he's not an LOS. Yeah, I think your friend played this badly. This actually could have worked. Yeah, your, your friend just played it badly. I mean, to be fair, you, you did miss Diana. You could have recovered it, but both of you kind of fucked up, so. Vodder being extra. Yeah, I feel like flaming people for being bad. Also, I'm really tired, so. Yeah, we're just chilling, I guess. Mm. Yeah, Ramatra is just 
Dude, is this hero's ult just like an insta win in low rank or what? I swear to god, every time I see a Ramatra ult, he's just insta winning the fight. It's way different in, in high rank, it's very hard to play him into Orisa. Shoot the Bastion here. Bastion's kind of free. They're, they're tunneling your Zarya, who probably has a bubble here. You're getting plenty of space. Mercy can't outheal your damage on a Bastion, because like his hitbox is really fat. You should definitely just pressure him here. Let's see what you do. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, try to recharge deflect. Okay. Yeah, that's that's that see? Like, I saw what kind of position you were in, and I, I told you what's the right play, and you do the right play, and you end up getting rewarded for it. See. 100%, that was good. What you did there, that's good. Alright, we have Blade. Mercy's dead, though. We kind of want to wait for her. Bro, he's just shooting. Oh, okay, it worked out. It worked out. Yeah, that's good. It's good that you realize that he's in dash range, but it's still kind of scary because like in higher ranks, like I die a lot like this. I get baited, right? They, they fly to like, they, they drop to like one health and they get like naded or something. And then you're just fucked. You're very sad if that happens. All right, we're going for a blade here. Uh, yeah, you need to work with your friend better. I think he's kind of bottlenecking you here. I, I know you see this. This is so juicy. Yeah, I, I know you were waiting for boost. You need to, okay, turn around, turn around, you need to turn around more, you you, you just, you're, you're not looking behind, I mean, this is, this is a problem that I have as well, I sometimes don't look behind, but you need to look where your friend is, like, you know he has damage boost here, I mean, he could have definitely played it better, but, yeah, you need to, you need to look around, or, or you need to coordinate it better with him, you're on your off roll, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, you, you're just obviously too far, if your duo presses... Like guardian angel right here then i think he's he's still in range but since he doesn't he presses okay that's uh, don't do that don't do that valk disconnects the beam right so you, you press valk here to try to follow him but really you should have pressed it like a bit earlier um but yeah valk disconnects your beam and he is he has blade ready he, he's gonna swing now and he doesn't have damage boost and he's behind the wall. And he, he wants to do it here. This is so juicy. Like This is such a free fight win. Let's see how this plays out, actually. Oh, fuck. Oh, I, it works out, though. It works out. Oh, it works out great. It works out great. But if it was a higher rank, he would have been punished. 100%. Like, this probably, probably would have resulted in a, in a failed blade. <clears throat> it does actually end up working out. But I still think you need to look behind and see where your Mercy is. Or Ana for the Nana boost. That's like one skill Genji players should definitely get better at. I mean, I know if you if you play Ana, you've definitely had a Genji just like... Uh, you, you've definitely had a Genji who's like... He just dashes behind the fucking... Behind a wall. He doesn't turn around, he just dashes. He's like, where the fuck's my Nano, Ana? That definitely isn't me. I would never do that. 100%. I would never ever do that to my Ana. I've never done that. Sure. Never ever. I always look behind and never make mistakes. <laughs> okay, let's see. I mean, you guys win, like, you win the point off that game. Off that blade, I mean. So that's good. Uh, hello? Play the game? You, you're li- uh, did it. You're fucking flaming. You're literally flaming here, aren't you? You you are you're just shit talking the fuck out of your Zarya. You are flaming here. Don't think I don't know. <laughs> just focus on the fucking game, man. Flame your idiots later. He, you miss you miss a grab here because like I, I this is this is so dumb, bro. You could have been in a better position here. Look 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 how juicy this is. You have two supports right Ripe for the ass fucking in graph, just waiting to be absolutely dominated, and you're just fucking AFK, like flaming. Um, 
Okay, they do, do end up dying though. They do end up dying. So, you know, that's that's fine. Um Let's see. It works out. You you win the fight. You win the fight. But what if what if you guys did what if you didn't have tire? You would have entered here, right? He's he's still flaming. He's still standing still and flaming his fucking and the Zarya is flaming him back. Look, the Zarya is standing look at look at this. Look at this here. You guys think I don't fucking see this shit? Look. Look. You're flaming Zarya? Zarya is flaming you back! You guys are fucking typing! In the middle of a match when you're about to fucking win! You can literally win next fight! What the fuck are you guys doing? What are you doing? Just play the game and then flame the fuck out of each other after you win! I bet like this is probably a big reason why you guys lost. Welcome to Plat. Just fucking mute him. If he's if he's mentally ill, if he's a brain than animal, just mute his ass. It's gonna happen. Ooh. That's really okay. What you did there, it worked out, but this is really bad because you are you are in kill range here. You should definitely deflect. This Pharah is kind of respecting you, and, and she's considering the possibility of your deflect. But if she wasn't, you would have died here. So what you should do is this is good. You right click, dash. But instead of doing that, you should just right click melee, uh, right click um, deflect here, and just observe her. Because look, where, where is she going? Where is she going? Her mercy is not even with her. Her mercy is fucking. What the. Bro, I will, I will not, I will never understand this rank. People are like just built different, dude. Yeah, her, so his mercy is fucking just pistoling for some reason, and I bet you he would have just ran in and inted. He would have kept flying, and then you could have like maybe right click and dashed again. Like you, you right click him. He's like I don't know, say like hundred twenty health if you hit it, and then you right click dash, and if you hit everything, or left click dash even if you're feeling a bit spicy with your aim, you could have killed him. But like the reason, anyway, the reason why it's bad is because you were in, in range to die here. Like, look, he shoots you, you're you're 69 health here, and the moment you dash, you're. Wait, does he does he hit or what? Where do you take damage from? What hits you here? Is it rocket? Huh? Well, I'm confused. No, you take damage from something else. Someone else shoots you. Who's shooting you? How do you drop? Again, what? Anyway, it doesn't matter. You you were you were not, not my point. My point is like you were in lethal range of the rocket. It could be the mercy. Yeah, you, you would have died to his rocket. That's why it's really bad to do that. Like here comes the Romantro automatic fight win. Run away, run away. What the fuck are you guys doing? Run away. Now his ult is ended. Okay, this is still very fucking winnable. All right. You, you have blade 40 seconds, they have zero ults. You are blading for free here. Your Zarya just needs to bubble you. You have, look, wait, there's no way you guys lose this. Do you guys lose this game? You have four ults coming up and you somehow fuck it up. I need to see this. How is this even possible? You have blade, Valk blade, which should be in and of itself enough to win. You have tire, which is immense pressure. Let's see what happens here. Okay, not bad. I don't like how you engage here, but it's not bad. Oh, I see what happens. You guys have just wasted every fucking ult. And they're gonna just, now you have nothing. Now you just have nothing. And Farah has Barrage coming up. You know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys overlapped like four ults, and that's fine, but let's see here. Right now, you, why do you not have dash? Let's see. Why do you not have dash? Let's take a look. Oh, you just dash the main here. Okay, you do four size block, to be fair. Nah, this is, this is kind of bad. I mean, uh, nah, I, I see myself dashing. You do four size block, to be fair. Which is good. This guy's trapped. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I saw it coming. I already saw it coming. Like, it's just Farah's barrage coming, and she's just gonna rescue and win the game. Yeah. I mean, as I said, man, I feel like a lot of your mistakes, a lot of your mistakes are like of mechanical nature, but like equally as much are like is um game sense shit. Um. Yeah, you need to be more patient with your cooldowns. One hundred percent. You're misusing dash. You're you're wasting the fuck out of your dash. You, you're not getting enough value. That's what, and it's getting you killed. A lot of the time, it's getting you killed. And also, when you're blading, one thing that you need to do, this blade, like it works out. You kill them, right? But it's it's way worse to blade like this. When you blade, like you will very rarely ever see me do dash and then slash. When you blade, like that may could have ice block. You, you should have actually like if this is a high rank, that may like does she have ice block? No, he doesn't. Okay, he wasted it. I mean, I don't know if you tracked his cooldown. If you did, whatever, yeah. Um Time is running out. What you should do, like look, when you when you're pulling out blade, you're too far out of swing range. What you should do, wait, let me see. Let's see how you do how do you pull it out. Yeah. Okay, so this this is actually not bad, but you're just holding you're ho instead of just holding W and A here, so you're just like in their faces. You're you're kind of backing away, and then you back away too far, and now you're not in swing range. So now you're kind of fucked. Now you need to walk forward, and you you risk getting like slept and shit. But like imagine imagine if you do this, right? Also, we're, we're basically done. After this, I'm going to end the stream. This took literally one hour. Jesus fucking Christ. Imagine if you do this, though. I was scared to break Mercy Beam. Nah, he has Valk. It's it, it's insanely long range. You don't need to worry about that. Plus, it's really generous. I don't know if you've ever seen... Well, I'm actually going to go Mercy right now. But Mercy Beam, it's, it's not instantaneous. It lingers. So if I do this... Notice how my beam goes through the wall for a second. This is enough time to get a swing off as Genji. It's actually really generous. And then if he re-peaks, look, it stays connected. Even though I'm like losing line of sight, it's it's very generous, right? So you kind of don't need to fear if, if especially if he has Valk, like, then the range is crazy on beam. Look, look, look how far that is. Look at that. Look at that. You think you're gonna fucking outrange that? That's like 30 meters. You're not outranging that. So don't don't worry, especially if if, you, if he has a Valk. Like, you should focus on getting your kills, and if your mercy is good, she should have to. She should follow. But anyway, regarding the blade, right? Um, what I want you to do is, when you're blading someone, let's say you're blading. I don't know. Let's let's use this bot as an example. It's way, way fucking slower to do even this to like dash up and then dash towards them, which is kind of what you're trying to do here. It's, it's way worse to do that, and the reason is because like you waste your dash. But like, imagine if I do it like this. Imagine if I like, I don't know, I, I'm like trying to get in a position, like on a high ground here, and then I dash and I'm above them. This, this is a way better position for you. Because you have dash, and not to mention uh, uh, two swings is a slower kill than like swing dash swing by like, probably like half a second it's it's way way quicker so when you're engaging your engages with blader bad your engages with blader bad what, how you need to be engaging like sometimes it's okay like don't, don't get me wrong like if you have nano and you're like it's something like a widow over there then like fuck yeah I'm, I'm doing this for sure right i'm doing that for sure but if it's like something especially something that has like a defense or something that can fly away like think about okay imagine imagine blading a mercy right imagine blading a mercy Let, let's 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 think about it right you're blading a mercy or, uh, should I use Mercy for an example? Yeah, all right, I'll use Mercy as an example. So if you if you do this to a Mercy, you dash her, she's gonna just fly away, right? But if you, if you, if you take it a bit slow, you dash above her, you swing her once, you wait for a bit, she, she does her like little fly, and then you can like follow and swing her mid, Light, because it's kind of like it's kind of predictable, especially in low ranks. Mercy players aren't really that great, so like you should you should definitely try to like engage like this, especially if your target has some sort of escape. 
They should be a little bit more patient. That's it. A little bit more fucking patient. Or alternatively, if it's something like an Ana, um, uh, that you know can't run away, but she does have Nade, it's way better to just like open up like this because you're, you're gonna kill her way fucking faster instead of just like doing what you did there, which was like you pull out Blade and then you like dash. And then you do two swings. That's really fucking slow. Right. Should be posted on YouTube. Genuinely a good water beer. Oh, my fucking head hurts. Dude, how the fuck have I spoken about this for two hours? <laughs> no, for one hour. Holy fuck, I went in depth on that one. You guys should send me fucking shorter water views. I can't, I can't contain myself. I need to talk about every minuscule fucking detail. Are you gonna do water views more often, or is it just a one-time thing? I can send the game of me on Genji. I'm I'm a GM, I'm GM1 OTP and it would be really cool to see you review my gameplay. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I should I should do it sometimes. I don't want, I definitely don't want it to be like a one-time thing. I, I, I like doing this. It, this was fun. I enjoyed it. Did you, did you guys enjoy this? Did you guys have fun with the water review? I could review you guys' uh, games. It's, it's fun for me. You guys liked it? Okay, good. Yeah, we could do it again. We did it again. I'm sure everyone probably wants me to watch their game, but there's a lot of you, so... Kyoshimai, thank you for the prime. Oh, yeah, as I said, number one rule to engaging with Blade, especially if you're going in without a Nano Blade, like either try to drop on your target like this, or even better, as I said, try to do this. Like, it, it kind of depends on the situation. Sometimes it's better to just be above them like that. Especially if you're not, actually, like, if you're Nano Blading, you should definitely do that. Like, just. Because you, you kind of don't need the extra... Like, you, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do this when you're nano bleeding. Because you one-shot them anyway. They have to be... like They have to respect it. I mean, you can still do it. It's it's not as necessary. But, like, when, when you're just doing raw blade, then just consider... Like, doing... Fuck, okay, I just got the dash bug. But see, even, even just hitting your dash, right? If your target is something like a Widowmaker... You dash them... Pull out blade, now they're in, in swing dash range, so you kill them like instantly. It's basically like your nano, right? But even better if you're hitting your right click melee. Because like, I don't know if you guys know about this cancel. But basically, you, you can cancel melee with... Uh, you can cancel right click with melee. Uh, but the way blade works is like, ultimates take priority over everything, right? So you can right, that's why you can right click melee blade. I mean, I'm pretty sure this works with like, I don't know, literally everything. Like, okay, never mind. That has a cast time, but like, uh, anything that doesn't have a cast time. What? What's a good example? I don't know what a good example. Is. Soldier? Yeah. See, soldier can like place down his field and press visor instantly. Um. I wonder if Torp can cancel. No, this has an animation. Yeah, it has an animation. But you, you guys know what I mean. Like, there's a certain heroes who can take advantage of it, and Genji is one of them. You know. Yeah, like Kree. See, like you can cancel, for example, grenade into ult. It just comes out instantly. You see, because ultimates always take priority over everything. I will not. Yeah. See, like Anna Nade as well. You can cancel ult into everything, but you can't do it. You can't do it the other way around. It's because ults take priority. I will not leave a broken world behind. Monkey shield and melee. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See, you can animation, and that's what I'm doing with Genji here. Is I'm doing the regular right click melee, but I'm also just finishing it with blade. So then, like, my target is basically like one swing away from dying. See. Right, I'm gonna blade. Easy. Just like that.